Welcome to Trikanakan's Kill. Your lifetime career partner. Trikana is a pioneer and trailblazer in the field of civil engineering and construction training, seeking to bridge the gap between engineering studies and the construction industry. Unconfined compression test on soil. Objective, determine shear parameters of cohesive soil. Need and scope of the experiment. It is not always possible to conduct the bearing capacity test in the field. Sometimes it is cheaper to take the undisturbed soil sample and test its strength in the laboratory. Also to choose the best material for the embankment, one has to conduct strength tests on the sample selected. Under these conditions it is easy to perform the unconfined compression test on undisturbed and remolded soil sample. Now we will investigate experimentally the strength of a given soil sample. Planning and Organization We have to find out the diameter and length of the specimen. Equipment Unconfined compression apparatus, proving ring type Proving ring having capacity 1 kN and accuracy 1 newton. Dial gauge, accuracy 0.01 mm Weighing balance Oven Stopwatch Split mold, 38 mm diameter 76 mm long Knife Vernier calipers Experimental procedure, preparation of specimen, in this test, a cylinder of soil without lateral support is tested to failure in simple compression, at a constant rate of strain. The compressive load per unit area required to fail the specimen is called as unconfined compressive strength of the soil. Preparation of molded sample. For the desired water content and the dry density, Calculate the weight of the dry soil WS required for preparing a specimen of 3.8 cm diameter and 7.6 cm long. Add required quantity of water WW to the soil. WW equals WS multiplied by water content by 100 grams. Mix the soil thoroughly with water. Place the wet soil in a tight thick polythene bag in a humidity chamber and place the soil in a constant volume mold, having an internal height of 7.6 cm and internal diameter of 3.8 cm. After 24 hours take the soil from the humidity chamber and place the soil in a constant volume mold, having an internal height of 7.6 cm and internal diameter of 3.8 cm. Place the lubricated molded with plungers in position in the load frame. Apply the compressive load till the specimen is compacted to a height of 7.6 cm. Eject the specimen from the constant volume mold. Record the correct height, weight, and diameter of the specimen. Test Procedure Take two frictionless bearing plates of 75 mm diameter. Place the specimen on the base plate of the load frame, sandwiched between the end plates. Place a hardened steel ball on the bearing plate. Adjust the center line of the specimen such that the proving ring and the steel ball are in the same line. Fix a dial gauge to measure the vertical compression of the specimen. Adjust the gear position on the load frame to give suitable vertical displacement. Start applying the load and record the readings of the proving ring dial and compression dial for every 5 mm compression or 30 seconds. Continue loading till failure is complete. Observation and recordings After preparation of sample note its diameter, height, and calculate its area of cross-section. 
by performing test procedure note dial gauge readings and change in length of specimen and calculate corrected area of specimen and also note down the load as shown in tabular column. Unconfined compression strength of the soil is given by CHU equals load divided by corrected area. And shear strength of the soil equals CHU divided by 2. Thank you for your time. If you have any queries do not hesitate to contact us.